This is how I create habitat for salamanders. So we're up here on my mom's property and just over that ridge is a huge holler and there is tons of salamanders. I mean, a ton of salamander diversity. So this is how I create habitat for those little slimy boys. And girls, I don't discriminate against the little slimy ones, but these logs right here, get a bunch of them, cut down a tree that you don't really want and cut it up into a bunch of similar length sections. All right, and then find a low lying spot that holds a lot of water. And stack them up like this. And you can't tell it here, but these ones on the bottom down here, those are already dead and started to rot. So those are gonna hold a lot of moisture and attract a lot of insects. And see these little gaps right here where these logs come together? Those are gonna act like tunnels for salamanders to crawl in there and stay protected from predators. And then you wanna cover it up with leaves. This is gonna hold in moisture, attract insects, and keep it insulated. All right, and there you go. That's gonna be about the best man-made salamander habitat you could possibly make. This is gonna be great for frogs and other amphibians as well. And no matter what type of wildlife you're managing for, having more biodiversity is gonna be better for everything.